Yeah, g'day viewers. Here's another project I've been doing during this lockdown. I've got an old uh, El Dorado electronics frequency counter. And this is an old bit of gear from a military installation. And it was out from the scrapyard, it was being, being thrown out that I found. It. So, had a few faults in it and I didn't have any information on making repairs, so I thought, oh, rather than scrapping it out for parts, I thought I'll turn it into a clock. So that's what I've done with this particular device. So what I've done, I've retained the original uh, Nixie tube readout boards. And uh, then I just made up a digital clock circuit to drive the boards. This is one of the boards here. It's got a lot of uh, Germanian style transistors on it. And I've just cut a few tracks and put in some wire links just to address the relevant transistors to drive the elements of the uh, Nixie readout tube. I also retain the original 1 megahertz uh, crystal oven unit. And I fed the output through a buffer and some uh, decade counters, 4017 Johnson counters, are on this board here. Then the actual uh, uh, clock boards are between the circuit boards here. So we'll turn it on and we'll have a look. So now we've got a couple of just scrambled digits, but we just need to reset those, so we'll just increment it. So there's the time base board there and the high voltage board to describe to uh, drive the Nixie tubes. And just for a bit of fun I made up another board driving neon lamps in binary code just to make it look pretty.
I've had this clock running for about, oh, about three or four weeks now and it's been running really, really well, no problems. So it turned out to be a rather interesting project to, to turn an old piece of Cold War technology into uh, another clock for the house.